In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use radial gradients to enhance the visual focus of your images. Now, this technique can actually be used for a variety of different types of images. For example, this one right here, if I click away, this is what it looked like originally, so it was really kind of hazy and bright, and I applied the effect to create some interest right here and enhance the contrast a little bit. You can also use it if your image is maybe a little bit too dark, so this one was kind of dark and her face might have been kind of lost right here, so I applied the effect to kind of draw some attention to her face and kind of darken up the background, kind of flipped what was dark and what was bright. The same thing can go for like a backlit image. So this was the original image. You can see she's kind of dark and the background is bright. So I applied the effect and now she's a little bit brighter and the background is darker. Same thing with just a you know close up portrait. So this one was kind of washed out. You can see also you can get rid of kind of some artifacts and stuff in the background too. So this looked okay, but there's kind of this weird stuff going on. So you apply the effect, draw some attention to the face, make it pop out a little bit and kind of eliminate some of that other stuff that was in the dark areas here. And then you can also use it to just redirect focus. So for this image, maybe it's kind of, this is a really good image, but you might lose your attention over here maybe, and you might not be looking at her. So if you apply the effect, boom, we can say look here and not over here. All right, so now in order to actually show you how to apply the effect, I'm gonna use this image right here. And we're gonna start by going down to this little half circle thing, click on it, and then click on curves which is gonna add a curves adjustment layer right here and open up this adjustment dialog box. All we're gonna do is click on the line and drag it up and that'll brighten your entire image. We're not worried about the entire image. You're just trying to drag this up until you get the spot that you want to brighten looking the way that you want. So I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit, get the face looking maybe kind of like that. That looks pretty good. And then now we just have to use the gradient tool on our mask to create the difference between this being bright and the rest being dark. So the gradient tool is over here. If you don't see it, right click, you're probably seeing the paint bucket tool. So click on gradient tool. And then we're gonna go up here and click on this little slider thing and go into basics and just pick this one. So black to white and then click okay. But we're also gonna go up here and make sure that reverse is clicked because we actually want white to black. Then make sure you're not on linear gradient, you're on this second one here, which is radial gradient. So click on that one. And then you're just gonna click in the middle of where you want it to be the brightest and drag to where you want it to stop being brightest. So since I just want it kind of around her face right now, I'm not gonna drag very far. So maybe to about like there, and that's gonna brighten up just that spot and it's gonna darken everything else. You can see here on the mask where it's white, that's where it's gonna be still bright and where it's black, you'll actually see the original image underneath. And obviously, if you don't like the way that it looks, you can always just go back, click again, drag to a different spot to change how it looks. Now, if I go over to this eyeball and click it, that was the original image, and that's what we've created already, so that looks pretty good. But we're gonna do a little bit more. So go back down to your adjustment layer, this little half circle thing, click on it, put on another curves, and this time we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna go up here and just unclick reverse so that black is gonna be in the middle instead of white. Then we're gonna head over to the adjustment dialog box here of curves two and just click in the middle and drag down to darken the entire image. But this time we're just paying attention to what it's doing to the outside here, not the part that we want to spotlight. So just the rest of the image around here. So I don't need it to be too dark. I don't think that looks good. So I'm gonna just darken it just a touch, maybe like that. And then we're gonna use the gradient tool. So remember we have it black to white and reverse unchecked. Just click and drag out. And then this time you're gonna see the spotlight's gonna come back because this mask, wherever the black is, that's punching a hole through it so we can see what we did on curves one. And the white that's around here is what we see from what we did on curves two. So if I click the eyeball, that's what it was before curves two and that's what it is after. So it kind of just darkens the rest. If I clicked and dragged a shorter one, it would darken more of it and just have the spotlight on a smaller part. If I click and drag further, it'll be more of a gradual transition from bright to dark. So if I click that one, you can see it barely just darkens kind of the edges, but you also might want to change where you drag from. So I'm actually going to drag from actually below, like around the neck here, instead of the face, I'm going to drag from here so that I can get a little bit of the face and a little bit of the body as well. 
And that's pretty much the entire effect. However, you can see here that we just lit up the face and the body is now looking kind of dark. If that's the way you want it, then good, you're good to go. If you don't, then we have to go back to our original curves layer, the one with the white in the middle. We're gonna make sure you're clicked on the mask and then go over to your brush tool and make sure that white is in the foreground. So click this thing if you need to, to get white here. And you're gonna pick a brush that kind of makes sense in terms of size wise. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So like that, and make sure your hardness is right down. And then you can decide on opacity. If you wanna bring everything to be completely bright, like as bright as the most bright spot in the middle here, then keep it at 100. If you want it to be not quite, you just wanna bring it back a little bit, like bring some brightness back, then maybe try like around 50 to start. And then you're just gonna paint over everything that you want to brighten up. So just kind of pay attention right here. So as I paint, you can see it kind of brightens it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna go over kind of everything really quick. You should take your time to kind of make sure you get everything proper. Okay, so once you think you've painted over everything, if you look over here, you can see on the mask that now we've applied, it's not white, it's kind of like a light gray. So that means that it's, we're, we're bringing back some of this curves, like this brightness, just a little bit to those parts. Okay, so now if I hold Alt and click on the eyeball of our original image, we can see that that's what we started with. And that's how we've enhanced the image to really put a spotlight on the part of the image that we want to see. Now, if we go back over to this one, you can see that this one, I actually didn't apply anything else to the second curves layer. So this was the original curves. So if I click on this, you can see that's what I did. I just kind of, this image was already bright and kind of hazy. So I applied the original curves. So if I click here, we can see that I just bumped it up a little bit. But when I applied the second one, I just darkened it. I didn't even apply like the, the gradient on it to make this, you know, brighter and then darken the rest. I brought it down to darken it, and then I brought one more dot, this one up, just to create a little more contrast in the entire image. So if we click on this eyeball, if I hold Alt and click on this, that's what the original one was. And then if I click back, that's with the effect applied. In this case, it's not two radio gradients applied, it's just one to brighten the spot that I wanted, and then the second one to darken and then add contrast. So darken first, and then bring this up to add some contrast. And that's it. That's how you use radio gradients to enhance the visual interest of your image. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.